Today I'm going to talk about what I think about Alex Becker extreme minimalist YouTube video and uh, his attempt to cut all distractions in his uh, life by selling his house, selling his cars and going entirely minimalist in a uh, absolutely empty uh, flat. So uh, just to show you which is the video I'm going to discuss right now, I will share with you my screen and will show you uh, what exactly Alex uh, Baker uh, told. <clears throat> this is his extreme minimalist video uh, produced few days uh, ago. Yeah, it was produced actually three days ago. And here uh, Alex talked about why he did this step and explained in great details how this can help him uh, make better decision and improve his personal productivity for his business. He stated that his main goal with doing this minimalist uh, experiment, although he never uh, stated that this is experiment, I'm not sure how long he will uh, be good with this and how long he will survive in this experiment. But the main goal of this thing that he is doing is to cut all the noises and cut all the distractions in his life in order to focus on Market Hero, his main product. I'm not making any recommendations. I never have been affiliated with him and never have been affiliated with his product. Although I uh, admire some of his uh, videos, let's say, and his style of presenting the real truth of uh, entrepreneurial uh, hardship. So uh, after all, I believe he's really genuine person. So we may learn a lot by uh, following what he's doing. So let's check uh, his tour of his uh house maybe maybe yeah maybe somewhere here mm. he's showing his totally empty flat actually only a uh, bed uh small kitchen <laughs> yeah bathroom and a table with a, a pc where he uh work so actually uh, he really did this. This is not a prank. This is not a joke. He really cut everything from his life. And in a moment, I will talk a little bit more why I think that this is a really very good and bold step. Actually, uh, he has a laptop and personal computer and that's it. Nothing else in... <laughs> his entire house absolutely nothing else he, he showed everything he showed his wardrobe actually having only a few clothes there but uh, yeah what's the point of doing this uh, extremity because he really stated that this is extremity really this is extremity but He's doing this because he believes it will help him uh, work 100% on his, really 100% on his business. Yeah, actually absolutely empty uh, flat where he's living right now. He sold his house. Probably he is renting this apartment. I'm not uh, believing that he bought this uh, apartment. So... Why does he do this really uh, significant step? Uh, first of all, let me give you a brief, uh, a brief description of my personal belief about minimalism, uh, which I have before I watched this video. So, 
I really believe that minimalism is a good strategy uh, to improve productivity. You may watch my previous video, which I am uh, linking right here. And uh, you may learn that um, by doing minimalist exercises, I'm not saying that you need to be extreme minimalist. You can cut a lot of noises in your life. Unfortunately, I didn't implement this strategy in the past, although I really love to be <clears throat> uh, love to be in that same situations to have no distractions. Uh, I lived for uh, a year in two separate uh, rented places. So actually, <clears throat> uh, I was there with very few things. So actually, I cut most of the distractions from my uh, previous life where um, we lived with our parents, where I had a lot of books, a lot of stuff, etc., etc. And I really see a nice bump in productivity. But it was not uh, enough to say that the only this thing uh, has a huge impact. But now, uh, when we uh, purchased our uh, new home, uh, I didn't cut a lot of stuff. I bring here all my previous uh, books, all my previous uh, stuff, everything I have, uh, furniture, and I feel, I felt that mm, by doing this, I really uh, set a burden on my productivity. Because uh, when you, when your mind is focused on home repair, on uh, arranging stuff, on uh, on having tons of things to uh, reorganize and reorder, your mind is not clear on your uh, main goal. Which, in, in, in all cases, if you are a coach, consultant, or any kind of business owner, your main goal is achieving results within your business, not to cut the grass of your uh, backyard, not to uh, organize your uh, kitchen. Of course, if you love uh, cooking, it's great to, to have a nice big kitchen. If you love uh, uh, riding cars, it's great to have your own uh, car and uh, drive every single day. But if this uh, is not your main uh, thing, if, if it's not your biggest hobby, then it's better to find solutions that will save you time and uh, stop distracting your mind. So by saying this, I believe that Alex Becker's decision to uh, cut everything from his life, I don't know what his wife think about because I I believe that he uh, has a wife. Really hope that they didn't separate. Uh, by no means I don't believe this happened, but this is kind of experiment where there are many consequences that have to be predicted. But in overall, I believe that this is something good because as I described in uh, the previous video of this uh, series, I think that our mind is, uh, is a natural machine which work on single line of thought. Only single line where we focus our attention. Every single time we uh, separate our attention from our goal and move to uh, different directions, our mind totally shut down the entire brain neurostructure, the entire electrical network inside our brain that is working on our goal. And when we shut down this neural network, actually what happened is we stop doing what we are supposed to do and we start thinking of many, many different other things. And then we think, why we are not productive. Basically, every single human on this planet 
has the brain capacity to outsmart probably the biggest single uh, multi-core supercomputer in the world. I don't know now, is it in the United States or is it in China, but uh, the research is saying that every single human mind, even of the dumbest people in the world, is smarter than the biggest super processor computer. But then why we are not achieving any significant results in our day-to-day uh, -day activities? Because we have millions upon millions of small distraction things that uh, cut our time. Actually, we are not cutting our productivity, but we are cutting our productive time during the day. And I'm not saying that you need to go to the same extreme as Alex Becker, but at least partially we have to be minimalists if we want to get great results. Everything else is <clears throat> cutting our attention. And the thing that is most precious for us, this is not <laughs> the objects that we possess, the, the things that we own, the most precious thing in life, this is our time. And it's not able to be multiplied. You can multiply and leverage um, work by giving part of your uh, responsibilities to other people and to allow them to work on your project. But you cannot multiply your own personal time, your own personal experience. <laughs> you can only have this same time. So you have to be aware that the better you uh, focus and the better you concentrate your uh, mind on the biggest goal you have, then you will achieve it no matter what because our brains are much, much, much more advanced and elaborate than any artificial intelligence uh, present in the world at this moment. Maybe in the future it won't be this way, but now there is no artificial intelligence that can uh, work autonomously in a manner that human uh, being can work. Uh, so with that said, my takeaway, this is huge. Uh, step for Alex Becker, but I'm not sure how long he will survive to live this way. I know he's a tough person, but we have to follow and I'm giving you a free shout out from my small audience. He has a really much uh, bigger audience inside his YouTube channel. Uh, follow him, watch his progress and see what his insights about these minimalist experiments are because I'm really very curious and you also should be curious about this because at the end of the day, our productivity and our time is what matters the most. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.